Erica and welcome to Friday Sews. This is my channel Dizzy Knits and Curls where I talk about retro beauty, knitting, and on Fridays we talk sewing. So I've been really busy this week with crafts. It has been so nice to kind of get back to it. I've been feeling a little poorly lately so it's been nice to like be able to do the things I love again. I am wearing a lot of me made things and I've also got one on the mannequin. So I think we'll start with that. I will try to put in some footage of me actually wearing this dress. I wore it Tuesday um, and I did post it on Instagram. So I'll try to put that in at some point in this video. But this is the Pattern Emporium Follow Me Wrap Dress. I'll show you guys the link. This is a faux wrap dress with a flounce at the bottom. You can also make it without the flounce. It is a faux wrap dress, so it's completely sewn together underneath so it doesn't gape open when you walk. I made the sleeveless version I made it out of this double brushed poly from Girl Charlie, and um, I did the higher of the two necklines, which is a really nice neckline on me. It's not too low. Um, it has a center back seam, which really lets you get a nice fit through the back of the body and keeps the bodice of the dress quite close. So I kind of got Pattern Emporium on my mind this week because I made another make from them as well. But the follow me wrap dress is really great. It's got um, a sleeved option as well. So you get two bodices. You get this sleeveless bodice and then you get a version that has the sleeves. And there's quite a few sleeve options. There's a flutter sleeve, a cap sleeve, a full length. So you can really make this for all seasons. So I definitely think I'll make this again. I made the straight size eight. When I make it a second time, I've already made the change. I'm gonna take an extra half an inch out of the bottom of the back seam and a little bit out of the skirt just to line up with that. So I think that that will make it fit just that little bit more through the lower part of the body by the waist. So let me show you the next sewn thing I did. I'm gonna take off this. This shawl is gonna be talked about as well. So if you guys remember, I made the five out of four Camille top, which is this cowl neck top, and I showed that last week. So I wanted to make a skirt to wear with these tops. So this is the Pattern Emporium Symphony skirt. This is hard to see because it's in a black bullet knit, but it's got gores. So it's an eight gore skirt. I made the size six through the hip and the leg of the skirt, and then it's graded up to an eight in the waist. And I do actually put a waistband on this. It's supposed to be just a turned under and you sew the elastic down, but I put a full on waistband in it, which I think works better for my purposes. I'm just a lot more comfortable in a waistband because then, you know, if my waist fluctuates a little bit, I can just let the elastic out. Whereas if the elastic's like sewn down to the waistband of the skirt and turned under, I think it's a little bit harder to do that. So there we go. Um, I really like this. I feel like it does show my pooch a little bit more. I have a uh, bolting from IBS and it does show it a little bit more. But guys, I've decided I don't care because if I only wear clothes that hide the IBS tummy, I will pretty much only wear moo's and circle skirts for the rest of my life. So I'm just gonna accept that this is my body and try to learn to love it. And I do love this skirt. I feel very flirty. It's got this great movement and it's really easy to wear. So the Symphony skirt from Pattern Emporium, I highly recommend. And in Pattern Emporium news, they just released a new pattern, which is kind of how I got inspired to like go look through my stash and use some of the patterns that I have for them. Like I've never made the symphony except as the bottom of a dress and I'd never made the follow me. So I was like, I gotta do it. So 
If you guys remember, I made the Every Day's a Weekend dress last month, I think, as a pattern tester. And the only thing that I didn't absolutely love about that dress is it was an easy fit top. So a really blouson top. And then it had the tiered skirt. And I really wanted a more fitted one. So that's what they've released. It's the Dream On dress. And it's a super fitted top, kind of like the style of this dress. But with that... Um, cool uh, tiered skirt. Now, if you don't, if you already have the Every Days a Weekend dress and you just want the more fitted bodice, there actually is a bodice add-on and it's pretty cheap. So um, it's like half the price because you're just getting the top half. And I did actually buy the bodice add-on um, because I like uh, the V-neck for that a lot. There's a lot of neck, neck options. So anyway, that got me on the Pattern Emporium kick. So that explains that. And then finally, to show you guys, I finished the shawl I've been working on. So this, Magnificence, is the Boo Knits um, Le Strange shawl. It is this gorgeous uh, lace shawl. It was part of the Boo Knits Red Cow. And uh, I just love this. The yarn is a lace weight merino wool and it's threads by Megan and I will put a link to her Etsy shop down below. This is the Merlot color. Isn't this most beautiful vivid red? I love this thing. It is so pretty. So I'm just really enjoying wearing it despite it being a, la um, a wool shawl <laughs> in summer. But um, I'm looking forward to wearing it a lot more this fall and winter. I want to make myself a navy blue coat to go with it, like a midnight blue. I think that'd be really pretty. Um, I've never done anything in lace weight before. I've cast on things in lace weight and never finished them. So the fact that I finished this, it was supposed to be knit in a month, and I just finished now. So it took me five weeks instead of the four weeks of June, and I faithfully knitted this. This was the only thing I knit pretty much all month and it still took me a little bit longer than it was supposed to but I finished a lace weight shawl guys like what? Who am I? Um, you can also make it with beads. I don't bead my shawls because of the cats. The cats will eat any small shiny piece of plastic that is around and I just do not want that drama so I don't use beads on my shawls. Um, I could, I guess, come out here to the studio space that I work in, um, and bead it out here, but I'm still like scared I'll drop a stitch and lose a bead and then catastrophe. So yeah. Um, so I hope that you guys had a good week. Uh, like I said, I missed a week because of 4th of July. It was a war zone in my neighborhood. It was like 24-7 fireworks popping and actually last night we thought we were really done and then at like 11 30 some yahoo popped fireworks again my cats were traumatized my stomach was terrible because my ibs reacts when i have anxiety so like i mean it was a rough week so i'm so glad to be back with you guys again and mostly feeling normal um i hope that y'all had a good fourth of july um, if you celebrated or just, you know, a good summer so far. Um, I am planning on making this skirt again in a navy blue because I feel like if I have a black and a navy, I'm pretty much covered for fall and winter for these skirts. I can just layer sweaters and stuff with them and tights and I think it'd be really cool. Um, it comes to be right below my knee, so I thought it would be really good to wear with like knee boots and things like that. So I've got that planned. Um... I want, I've also got some black coming and some black lace fabric because I want to try to make like a, I'm already preparing for fall. So I want to make like a black dress with like bell sleeves that are lace. So we'll see when that happens, but I've got fabric coming, which I'll show you when it comes in. So yeah, that's it for me. Um, I hope that I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.